question is for the Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry. Great, Minister. The carbon tax is hurting our farmers, hurting our families, and hurting our businesses. The carbon tax raises the price of everything, especially for our businesses, who have no choice but to either absorb the loss or pass on the cost to their customers. The massive cost of the carbon tax is unsustainable for the people of Ontario. Speaker, the carbon tax's effects are widespread, including negative impacts to industries and the natural resources sector. Any barrier that creates delays and financial hardships in this sector negatively impacts Ontario's growth and economic prosperity. Speaker, can the minister please explain how the carbon tax has impacted the natural resources, forestry and wood sectors here in Ontario? Thank you. The Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry. Well, thank you very much, Speaker, and uh, thank you to the member for the question. It's an important question because the carbon tax does impact lumber. It does impact the forestry sector. I just got a letter the other day, Speaker, from the president of the Ontario Forest Industries Association, and here's what they said. The next scheduled increase of the federal carbon tax on April 1st will have significantly damaging impacts on our sector. Fuel costs impact every stage of the supply chain within the economy and have compounding negative effects on industry competitors. And let's think about that. Let's think about the contractor getting in his truck to drive to the forest to do his work, paying carbon tax. Let's think about the equipment used to take down a tree, more carbon tax. Let's think about the trucks that take the logs out of the bush, more carbon tax. Let's think of the milling process, more carbon tax. Let's think of getting the lumber to market, Response. more carbon tax. Mr. Speaker, this tax has got to go. We've got to scrap the tax. It's in the cost of every new home in Ontario. A supplementary question. Speaker, you know what the worst part about the carbon tax is? Is that it's only going to get worse. The federal government, independent liberals, and opposition NDP want to nearly triple this regressive tax by 2030. This means fuel prices will increase, creating a chain reaction of rising costs throughout the economy. For example, the price to move and process lumber will go up. This will cause the price of transporting two-by-fours to the store also to increase. Ontario companies, especially those in rural, remote and northern communities, are already struggling every single day to stay competitive and viable due to many fiscal pressures. In this time of economic and affordability uncertainty, let's not tax Ontarians more. Speaker, can the minister please share further details Question. regarding how the carbon tax negatively impacts Ontario's natural resources sector and our entire economy. Thank you. Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry. You know, Speaker, I've had the like chance that. to talk about the forestry sector, but let's look at the aggregate sector too, something that is needed to build Ontario. And look at the different ministries down the line here that All need aggregates to get their projects done, and every single load of those aggregates subjected to carbon tax. The Minister of Health wants to build new hospitals, yep. carbon tax. tax. The Minister of Long-Term Care wants to build new homes, carbon, carbon tax. tax. The Minister of Transportation wants to build new roads, carbon, carbon tax. tax. The Minister of Infrastructure has myriad projects she wants to build, more carbon, carbon tax. tax. Mr. Speaker, the resources that we need to build Ontario are subject to a carbon tax that has got to stop. We have got to scrap this tax. The members opposite know it. They've heard this message time and time again from Ontarians. They do nothing. They've got to do something to help Ontario.